Hi, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Melanie Benayat, the founder and owner of Wingspace Coworking here in Prescott, Arizona. And I wanted to make this video to share some of the stories of how and why people end up uh, becoming members here at Wingspace. And I always start off by asking, what brings you to Wingspace? Because that answer alone gets some of the most interesting answers. Everybody has such a unique story, and it's usually a mix of humorous and serious, but definitely always interesting. So this is Brianna Hinkle. She's the owner of Prescott Women Magazine. And she started using Wingspace to use the conference rooms to meet with clients so that she didn't have to meet with them in a loud cafe. And she now has a dedicated desk of her own, which is really convenient for her because she has a lot of different meetings that she goes to throughout the day or um, throughout the week. And it's just a lot more convenient to pop into wing space versus going all the way back home between meetings. This is Lorna Waterbury. She is a seamstress who needs to be able to meet with her clients in essential uh, location. She lives all the way out in Pres uh, Williamson Valley Road, and so she also didn't want people meeting her at her home. Wingspace just happened to work out. She uses the conference rooms, and it allows her to keep her overhead low versus trying to get her own uh, space um, in the downtown area. This is Stanley Hopkins. He and his family just recently moved here. And he works for a corporation out of the Phoenix area. So he's, you know, been used to going to work at a physical location. And now that he's working remotely from Prescott, uh, being able to come to a place to work is just makes more sense to him. It's much more professional than trying to uh, work from home. This is Teresa Lodi. Teresa really wanted to up her game with her business. She had been um, doing life coaching and organizing more on a part-time basis, and she wanted to take that to full-time work. So she joined one of our mastermind groups to really help her up her game and uh, figure out how she was going to um, basically move her business to full-time. And now she is happy to say that she's getting a steady flow of clients and really working full-time now. This is Ty Childers. He and his wife and two teenage boys are in the process of uh, looking for some property to build a new home here. So they're currently living out of a fifth wheel and uh, Ty really needed some space to be able to do his work. Um, and so it made sense for him to join Wingspace. And, and Ty is also really great at community building. He loves um, hosting hikes and making suggestions for different types of activities that we can do to, for the community members to get to know one another. So he's a really great addition to the family here. Um, this is Olivia Lee and Dan Martin, and they are not a couple. <laughs> uh, they are actually both marine biologists, and um, Olivia moved here with her family, her husband and son, a while back uh, from the Northwest, and she works for a university out of uh, Alaska, and Dan and his wife and daughter also live here. Um, actually, Dan's wife suggested that he come and get a membership here at Wingspace so that he wasn't working from home alone all the time and being so isolated. So it's really a pleasure to have both of them here. It's kind of fun saying that we have marine biologists working here in the high desert of Prescott. This is Erica Ryberg and her husband, Brandon Montoya. Um, Brandon and Erica had an office in downtown Prescott in a very nice uh, sort of executive office building, but it was very lonely according to Erica. She thrives better in a community environment. So they moved over here and got an office here 
And ever since then, um, things have been a whole lot more um, enjoyable for not just Erica, but also for Brandon. This is Marla Jirak. She uh, came to Wingspace in search of help to um, get her business launched. And she was looking for someone to help her with her branding and marketing materials and to build a website for her that functioned the way she needed it to function. And we had other members here in the space that could do that for her. And so they put together uh, an amazing, um, amazing package for her and she launched her business and then she decided to just become a member. So she had a place to come and work around um, other people that are doing their own thing. This is Janelle Reese. She's the owner of uh, Micro Salon, which uh, she happens to be the sole stylist in her space. And her space is small, so small that she doesn't really have a place to work, no, no desk, um, and her computer is not there. So she decided to become a member here at Wing Space. Um, also, so that she could uh, network with other business people, get that support, and to share ideas with others. This is Jay Lodi. Jay um, has been in the accounting industry for many years, almost 25 years, and uh, he was ready for a change. And so um, he joined one of the mastermind groups here to get support around um, making that change, looking at all the different challenges that he was facing and dealing with kind of the emotional side of, of this transition. And he got plenty of support and put together a great plan. And he's moved from the accounting um, industry into the holistic healing industry. And as a result, he's much happier. And I love this picture of him because <laughs> it shows um, his humorous side. He likes finding um, sticks that look sort of like snakes. And uh, he's always posting them on uh, social media. So uh, it's fun to have captured him like this. <laughs> this is John Lee. Um, John is a drone pilot. And... Um, he was kind of evicted from his home <laughs> because his wife said, it is time for you to find an office outside the home. Our family's growing, we have little ones, and uh, he, it's very difficult for him to get work done when he's trying to work at home. This is Lars Faye, who moved here a while back uh, with his wife and daughter, and uh, they literally drove up in their U-Haul so that he could um, unload his desk, his favorite desk that he had to have, as well as his computer equipment, because he knew that he just functions better working in a community environment. And it's true. All right, this is G uh, Chris and Gina Masali, um, who make the trek all the way from Dewey because uh, they are full-time writers. They've been uh, writing professionally for many years and their children are teenagers now and it's just almost impossible for them to get any work done uh, in their home environment when their kids are home. So they um, have also participated in the CoBoss uh, mastermind groups because they each had individual goals um, that they wanted to reach as writers. Uh, so um, they are an amazing couple to have around and be part of this community. Janelle has an office in the downtown Prescott area, but when she needs to brainstorm with her team, she likes to come here and get a, away from her regular office place um, so that she doesn't have all the distractions and she can really focus and they can be highly productive and get their get their work done and then head back to their office. So that's how she likes to use wing space. This is Tom Lukes and Tom is um, kind of making the transition uh, to move from Las Vegas to Prescott full time with his wife. So in the meantime, he's 
he works two weeks in Las Vegas, and then he comes here and works two weeks in Prescott, and he makes uh, Wingspace his office when he's here. And he said that he used to just have his own office um, in the past, and he didn't want to do that this time. He was very lonely just going to work in an office by himself, so he likes this a whole lot better, and it's, and it's totally understandable because he is a very personable guy. Okay, and finally, uh, Saba and Brent, they are digital nomads um, from Canada, and they have been uh, traveling around the United States in search of great places where they can go mountain bike riding, and they also still need to get work done for their job, um, so they look for co-working spaces, and Prescott happened to have both, so we made the, we made the cut. And it was great to have them here for a couple of weeks. They had has um, set up a, an amazing van that they travel around in, and they are just a lot of fun. So they plan to be back again next year when they are traveling around again. We look forward to seeing them again. So that is um, the end of the video. And please, you're, I invite you to come in, schedule a tour today, and I would love to learn about uh, your work and what your business challenges are and maybe we can find uh, a way for you to um, become a member of Wingspace as well. All right, thanks. Bye.